This is Total Outdoor Programming. Hey, this is Marty with Total Outdoor Programming. Got Chris in the studio today again. He's going to give us a little tip, another invention that you came up with on how to put more birds in the bag without having to drain a bunch of cash out of your pocket. So what are we going to be working on today? Uh, today we're going to be working on a goose flag. Okay, now what do you use a goose flag for if, if you're not into waterfowl hunting or you're new to it? Uh, what you use a, a goose flag for is to get the attention of geese that are five, six hundred yards away and they're just paying you no attention whatsoever. Marty and I have used goose flags in the past that we've made of our own. Uh, we can really testify to the fact that even if it's homemade, it will fool some of these birds and, and, and make them turn and come right into your flocks. Okay, cool. So now typically if you look at the ones online, you're going to spend anywhere from what, 40 to $70 on that, these? Any, anywhere between 40 and $70 depending on the company that you're buying it from. And this new idea you've got here should hold up pretty well and we're looking at probably somewhere in the $15 range. To right. Make it. right. And, that, and that's on the high end uh, with the store that we went to. Cool. All right, so let's uh, get this thing put together and see how it works. All right, let's do it. When you first head to the store, what you're going to need is at least six black zip ties, two quarter inch lock washers, four quarter twenty lock nuts, four quarter twenty regular nuts, an eight thirty seconds screw eye, an eight thirty seconds lock nut, two half inch PVC caps, a one inch screw, regular clear PVC cement, purple primer, and spray paint to camouflage your pole. You're also going to need a half inch piece of PVC, a quarter twenty threaded rod cut down to 50 inches, and any fabric that you're going to use that looks about the color of a goose cut down to 36 by 36 inches. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to drill a pilot hole into one of our end caps, and this hole is going to be for our screw eye here. With our screw eye here, what we've done is the, the nut that comes with it, we're going to go ahead and screw that all the way down here to the top of it. And we're going to apply some Gorilla Glue here around the top and we're going to drop the screw eye into our end cap. Then I'm going to take some Gorilla Glue and I'm going to apply it to the inside of the cap just around the screw that we've placed in there and then we're going to cinch it. We're going to take our lock nut and we're going to fasten it down on top of that. And this is some duck cloth that we purchased from a local store here in town. Um, it's 36 inches by 36 inches square and when we end up folding it over and we get this where we want it, we found out that it is going to be 50 inches across uh, this line right here. And this is a quarter 20 threaded rod. They come in six foot sections. Uh, however, with the size of our fabric, once we've got the fabric folded over, it's going to be 50 inches. So we've already gone ahead and cut it down so that it'll fit inside of our assembled flag. And since we already know that our length here on this outer edge is going to be 50 inches, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna make a mark halfway through, which is 25 inches. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put a, a slit right in here to where we can connect the rod to our end cap that has our screw eye in it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to take our, our end cap with our screw eye in it and we're going to set it into our hole that we cut here a couple minutes ago and we're going to go ahead and we're going to open it up. And we're going to take our quarter 20 threaded rod and we're going to slide it down to this end and then we're going to start from over on the other end and we're going to apply our other nuts and uh, lock washer on there before we, did, before we lock anything down. And at this point your rig should look like this. You should have a, a nut, a lock washer, a nut, your screw eye, another nut, your other lock washer and on the end here you have another quarter 20 uh, nut. And what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and we're going to tighten down the the nuts onto the lock washers. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go to each end and we're going to use two lock nuts on each end. We're going to uh, apply it in the first one about half an inch uh, down your threaded rod and then we're going to leave about another half inch of, uh, of space and then we'll apply our second lock nut and what this is going to be used for later is we're going to use our zip ties 
and we're going to cinch it down in between it and that uh, does not allow the zip tie to float back and forth on your, uh, on your rig. And then when you're finished putting your two lock nuts on one end, go ahead to the other side and repeat the process. All right, now we're going to go ahead and we're going to fold over our fabric. And as you can see here, we're center. And we're going to take two zip ties per side and we're going to cinch it down in here in between the space here that we left with the two lock nuts. Apparently you got to be smarter in your zip ties. And you want to make sure you want to clip off your tag ends here. Alright, then we're going to repeat the process with the zip ties down here on the opposite end. And what we're going to do is we're going to take our half inch uh, cap and we're going to apply some uh, purple primer and some regular clear PVC cement. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to close off the opposite end or your handle end. And since we've already got the purple primer open, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to prime the inside of our cap and the one on where we're hooked up at our threaded rod. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to prime the ends of our PVC. Alright, then we're going to go ahead and we're going to take our PVC cement. We're going to go ahead put them on our end pieces here. And we're going to go ahead and assemble it onto our rig and on the handle end. Alright, then we're going to go ahead and we're going to let our uh, PVC cement set up for about an hour. Now that we've let it sit for an hour, we're going to go ahead and we're going to flip our rig over. And we are going to use a screw and we're going to drill it through the PVC, actually through the fabric and into the PVC. And to avoid the fabric binding up in the screw when you're screwing it in, we're going to go ahead and we're going to cut just a little bit of slit and this will keep this from twisting up. Then we're going to make sure our fabric is taut and we're going to go ahead and screw the screw down through the PVC. And you want to be sure when you're doing this that you go ahead and leave just a little bit of the screw standing up. All right, what we're going to do now is we're going to take two zip ties and we are going to go ahead and attach those down. And you want to make sure it's on the, what I'm going to call the north end of the screw as you're looking at it. And you want to make sure you go ahead and clip those tag ends off as well. Then we want to take that pole that's on the, the uh, threaded rod on the inside and we want to bend it back to us just a little bit to give it, uh, when you let go of it, it's going to drop down to where these are going in about a 45 degree angle. When you get it turned around and then you start to flap it, it's going to give the, the appearance that the wings are actually flapping. Painting the pole is just going to be the easiest thing, uh, probably paint it in cornstalkish colors, uh, more your browns, your yellows than anything. And then what we're going to do here on the front is we want to get a, a white arc that's going to come through here that's going to look like the back of a uh, Canada goose tail. And if you want to go ahead and hand paint feathers uh, here on the ends to really give it the appearance of a goose, go ahead and do that. Okay, so there you go. That's how you can assemble your own uh, Canada Goose flag. Pretty simple, easy. I mean, we did this in, what, about 45 minutes while we're trying to film everything. So if you're just sitting there working on it, you could have the whole project done in probably 30 minutes max. Yeah. All right, well, thank you, Chris. That's cool. Really easy to build. Uh, it doesn't cost much at all. And I can definitely see how that action, once you start flapping it, is going to draw those birds attention in from a distance so thank you another cool idea hopefully you guys give this a try and like it it's a really simple build and hopefully that'll put some birds in the bag for you thanks for watching and we'll see you next time on total outdoor programming